right, next one is from uh, Perrin Wolfson from Laval. <laughs> Perrin. Hey. Where are you at? Right. Over here. Hey, there. Nice to meet you. He writes, Getty, I feel I and others owe you an apology. That's a hell of a start. Uh, <laughs> last time you did this, we pummeled you with questions about a reunion, more live shows, or maybe a residency. All the while, you were internalizing a terrible reality, the fact that your dear friend and our hero, Neil, would not be long for this world. On behalf of all of us, sincere condolences and a heartfelt apology. Given this, my question is a simple one. How are you doing? That's a wonderful question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lovely question. Don't feel bad. Life is hard and unpredictable, and you lose people, and you have to figure out a way to deal with it, to carry on, because the person you lost wouldn't want you not to carry on. They wouldn't want you to be stopped in your tracks. When Neil was ill and we would go to visit him, um, we would want to talk about his illness and he wouldn't want to talk about it. And he, he would just say, mustn't grumble. He was <laughs> stoic as hell. Right to the end, mustn't grumble. And if you wanted to ask him about his treatments or anything, he said, oh, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> and he would prefer to laugh. He would prefer to... <clears throat> for Alex and I to make him laugh. And nobody made him laugh more than Alex from his raw, wild humor. Or me making fun of Alex then. He really liked that. So when I make fun of Alex here, I'm carrying on a tradition in Neil's name. Yeah. Um, but I'm doing well, thank you very much. Good on you for Axel, I'm doing well. This book really, writing this book was very cathartic for me. Uh, and uh, I feel like once I'm finished this period of my life where I'm doing this odd thing, talking to you and talking to different people on stage, maybe I'll get back to my day job. Time will tell.